Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. In this episode, we're gonna investigate the living dead by talking to this Goron. Yes, I'm a ghost whisperer and it's time to put this guy to rest because he's been haunting innocent Gorons. Not really, I think this guy needs help and we should talk to him. I mean, look at him, he has a giant bruise on his belly and he doesn't look too happy. Alright, so what's up, dude? The Soaring One said the one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmeni the Third. The blood of the proud Gorons runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead. I was I fine was until I marched off to Snowhead by, by myself, myself, hoping that I could that drive, I could drive, drive off, off a demon. demon. It had been wreaking yeah, havoc, havoc on Goron Village. Village. Then, then, the blizzard at Snowhead snow blew me into, into the valley. valley. And now, now here I am. Yeah. How infuriating! How as I am, I can only watch as Goron Village is slowly burned in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So, you can use magic? The Soaring One also told me that you were able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic! If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. Alright, so that was really dark and deep. So, yeah, he died trying to help out his people, and now here he is being haunted, watching his people die slowly as he can do nothing because he is dead. This one definitely hit home for me when I figured out Darmini the third story, because, yeah, this guy is an awesome character, and it sucks that we had to meet him when he was already dead. And now we're going to put him out of his misery by taking out our ocarina and playing a song that will, quote-unquote, heal his sorrows what that means is yes we're gonna be putting him to rest by playing the song of healing so let's go ahead and play that and see what happens next what a soothing melody my sorrows are melting away into the song I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplish while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. Also check out my blog. Anyways, you got the Goron mask. This mask contains the spirit of the proud hero. Of the proud Goron hero. Where the mask, okay, well, we know what it does. It's a transformation mask. For Goron Village, I have asked for your assistance. Alright, so, we healed his sorrows, and he's like, yo buddy, it's all on you now, you gotta save the world, I don't care, I'm dead, peace out. That's how it works, and then he gave us his face, so, now we are tasked to save the village and, uh, you know, complete what he couldn't do because he failed, but, yeah man, <laughs> the feels, I'm telling you, this guy is one amazing guy, Darmani, uh, too bad he died. And it's actually even more sad when you figure out how he died. We're going to figure out later in this episode. But let's go ahead and pop on the mask and see how it looks on us. So, yes, this is a transformation mask, just like the Deku mask. We transform completely, gaining a new appearance. Look at that. We are a Goron. We can punch like a badass and use our butt to slam people. And we can also roll, which is the coolest thing of being a Goron. You can also do a cool ground pound. Uh, you can read all of this on his grave, but I'm not going to do that. 
what you want to do here is you want to actually pull back his tombstone and the reason for that is because hot steamy spring water will come right out look at that ah it feels so warm in between my toes yeah okay i don't know what i'm talking about but let's go ahead and pick up some of this nice hot spring water oh look at that yeah we got some okay i didn't mean to do that I don't really think I need more to begin with. Let's just go ahead and leave, actually, and take this hot spring water somewhere. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and save this guy. So, you're... No, no. You're not the great Darmani, are you? Then, just, whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? He's kind of hinting that there was, you know, the hot spring water underneath his grave which is kind of cool just in case you didn't know about that but we're gonna go ahead and save his body by a small splash of hot spring water yes it melts the whole thing huh what have i been doing oh you are right brother you were frozen but the great darmani saved you the great darmani what's with you are you half asleep do you hear this guy the great darmani not uh died not too long ago uh and is lying in his gr yeah darmani I was shocked too, but somehow it seemed the great Darmani isn't dead. R really? With this, a star of hope appears over Goron Village. Great Darmani, please do something about the blizzard blowing and snowhead and don't die this time. Okay. I will do that, my friend. I will do that. Because uh, I'm not actually Darmani. I just realized it was 4.20 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. What a great time. Time's actually flying by really quickly. I kind of don't want it to be already you know dawn of the first night but whatever let's go ahead and jump down I was kind of hoping Link would do a dive because we're gonna land in the water but what we want to do is we want to use this mask to get some connections with people and and talk to stuff and and things and I don't really know what else we can do but let's go ahead and pop on our bunny hood and make our way back to Goron Village or at least start heading there because what we need to do is with this hot spring water as you saw it melted a huge chunk of ice uh, that Agoron was trapped in and I just realized I'm backtracking whoopsie daisy I did not mean to do that kind of lost my uh, sense of direction for some reason but it's over here where we want to head to maybe I should look at the map from time to time I think that would be a little helpful you know that's the reason why I bought the map but eh, who cares <laughs> let's just go ahead and start running and um, yeah so we're gonna want to go ahead and free this guy down there that Goron that is completely frozen solid but I'm not gonna do that yet and the reason and why I'm not gonna do that yet is because I want to go ahead and melt this because here's the thing hot spring water doesn't last for too long and there is some hot spring water under there just in case you needed more instead of heading all the way back to Darmani's grave so that's how you want to do it but anyways let's go ahead and run over here and speak to this gate guy ca gatekeeper open up the shrine we need to enter the shrine to see what's going on in there so we can progress and actually I'm gonna go ahead and do something and see if this works so let's go ahead and jump down I here's the thing I don't know how many rupees I, I need for this so yeah you want to buy from this Deku merchant as a Goron uh, something special it's the biggest bomb bag but since we're Goron it's only 200 rupees all right I will come back for that in a second don't worry uh, but yeah, the gate opens and closes really quickly. Luckily, since we are a Goron, we can literally replicate what he did and do the Goron Ground Slam Pam Kazam, and that will open up the way to the shrine, but it's only open up for you know, a short period of time. And that rhymed. <laughs> Anywho, welcome to this place. This, my friends, is the Goron Shrine, and uh... We're gonna go ahead and head up here because you can hear a baby crying. What is going on? Oh no! What's happening? Hey, little baby. <laughs> daddy, it's cold. I want my daddy. Hi, uh, Darmeni. Where's my daddy? Are you not shocked that I'm still alive, man? Darmeni's dead, bruh. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't Darmeni. I'm Darmeni. I'm, I should be Darmeni the Fourth. Think about it, because I am the reincarnation of Darmeni, essentially, right? I don't know. But yeah, once you talk to the baby, you now know that he's in trouble and he's annoying all of the Gorons. Also, man, do I love how quick Darmani is on his feet. He just pounds and pounds everything into smithereens, yeah. <laughs> 
he's a lot faster in this game than he was in the N64 version of the game, like with his attacks and stuff, which I love. But let's go ahead and run back to this trail. I want to call it, you know, the Goron Village Trail and head inside this hole. Because inside this hole, we're going to pick up some more hot spring water and save that frozen Goron. Now, that frozen Goron actually has a connection with that little baby Goron that was crying in the Goron Shrine. And whoa, what was that? Interesting. Yeah, you know how the little Goron kid was asking for his daddy? Well, believe it or not, this is his dad. Not his grandfather, because this guy looks so much older than a father. But I mean, I don't know. Let's go and speak to him. <sighs> what was I doing? Uh, it's already this late? Step aside, I have urgent business to attend to, so I'm too busy to talk. Uh, come on, talk to me, huh? Oh, you're Darmani. But you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of the Snowhead's magic power. <sighs> I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. I need to fix this blasted weather that is plaguing Snowhead. I must save the Goron village and protect my dear son. So you see, I must insist that you get out of my way this instant. Can't walk around me? What? My son is crying because he misses me? Why do you know that? My son misses me. Uh, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. You're not going to get anything done like that. Darmeni, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination. I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son... Then please quietly sing my son to sleep with the song I'm about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that I used to play often for you when you were young. How does the song go? Huh? Let me play it once more. How does the song go? Um... Hmm. Ah, yes, yes, like this! Hmm. It's no good! I can remember only the beginning! I'll just teach you the beginning. You played the lullaby intro. You learned the lullaby intro, the soothing melody of a thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it. It's just so cold that I can't play it very well. At any rate, I am counting on you. All right, have fun doing literally nothing. 60 hours remain, and I bet you're not going to get anywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that is the little Goron baby's father. And now we know what we must do. We must play him the intro to the lullaby. Hopefully, he'll fall asleep by then, because apparently he doesn't know the rest of it. So, so much for a thoughtful father forgetting his own lullaby song. But according to him, you know, it's too cold. So, I guess I, you know, have sympathy for him. I don't... You know, I'm not going to be cruel about it. He forgot the song. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and make our way up here and get to... Whoa! Okay, I'm going a little too fast here. Let's get to playing this song to this little Goron baby. So, hey, little boy. Um, the song went like this, I believe. There you go. <laughs> He's just freaking, like, going crazy and all the Gorons here cannot stand this baby's crying but that song that's a song daddy always played for me before I go to sleep I'll sing the next part all right we just dodged a bullet You played the Goron Lullaby!
Hmm, it's just like daddy's right beside me. All right, well, apparently that was an event, so sweet. We did it. The elder's son is sleepy. The Goron Lullaby turned, or the Lullaby turned, and the Lullaby intro became the Goron Lullaby. This Lullaby blankets listeners in a calm while making eyelids grow heavy. Hey, I'm the Sandman. Also, wait, what? I'm assuming he was reacting like, whoa, everybody fell asleep? Barnacles, I don't really know, but it looks like Link was gonna trip there, and I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that because I know you're better than that, Link. You can balance your feet. All right, well. Before we decide to leave this place, I want to use these deco sticks. It's a good thing we got a bunch of them from that. Hey, look, they immediately woke up. Well, so much for that. At least he's still asleep. I guess that's all that really matters. Ooh, more deco sticks. But yeah, we want to go ahead and light uh, all the torches surrounding this shrine because this is going to play out to be something pretty important. So, yeah, we want to make sure we do this. So let's just go ahead and run around, lighting one after another. Hopefully my Deku Stick doesn't go out. I actually suggest uh, refreshing the Deku Stick by putting it in and taking it out. That way you don't have to use a, use one, uh, a new one, rather. Okay, that way you don't have to use a new one. Uh, but, okay, just be quick about it, Link. There we go. All of the torches have been lit. And what happens is these weird pots that are, like... Uh, held up by like some chandelier or something will start rotating. And I was actually wondering how I was going to complete this little Goron quest in my notebook, but it seems as if I now know. So what we need to do now, now that all of these pots are rotating, also, wow, may I just note that, oh, it's based off of Darmani, huh? That's cool. I didn't know that. It's actually really freaking badass. But yeah, let's go ahead and run back. And what we need to do is we need to charge up into a ball as a Goron and fly right into one of these pots. So here I go. Woo! And will you look at that? The first one I hit has a delicious rock sirloin. I bet all these Gorons are jealous, but I'm going to eat it. I'm actually not going to eat it. Also, I have no idea why they're adding this into it. All right, we get it. That's part of our quest. All right, I'll be honest, it gets a little annoying when it updates you on almost everything. But you, we want to take this rock sirloin all the way to the mountain village. So let's get walking. I wonder if I'm heading the right way. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to be going in a circle if I do that. So we're going to go ahead and run around. But yeah, it's, it's a really slow process, as you can tell. Because pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're just going to walk like this. There's no way we can speed things up. Because uh, you can't roll with a rock sirloin on your back or anything. Especially since we're rolling around. Also, something I would like to note is this. Wait, let's see if I can get a good angle. Look at that. Okay, wait. Let me turn it around. Yep. Come on. I want to get a better look at Link. Yep. Come on, I can't do it. Are you serious? Alright, there we go. We'll, we'll get it. Look at that. I want you... To just stare at that. Look at how creepy that is. I didn't know how he looked in the N64 version, but they literally made him curl up into a ball, and he looks absolutely hilarious. I mean, just look at him. His face is all squished and everything, and, like, his knees are, like, hitting his face and everything. It's, it's really adorable. <laughs> but, yeah. That's what happens when you try to curl up into a little Goron ball. It's something not many people can do. Maybe Sonic the Hedgehog can. Wonder how he would look. Actually, he like just crouches. I guess because the Goron's really big and fat, it looks a lot more hilarious. But let's go ahead and jump down here because I don't want to deal with the freaking white wolfos that are going to pop up. <laughs> hey, look at him! So much for progress and important business you have to attend to. Yeah, you're already frozen again, man. Good job. Definitely doing your Gorons proud. Can you even teach me the full lullaby? Jeez. What a loser. Anyways, right. You know, all jokes aside, let's just go ahead and continue on. It's kind of weird running around here when it's nighttime. It's really calm, and it's not as blizzardy. I believe, at least, the snow is as intense right now, but I'm not too sure. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and run over here, 
and talk to this guy. So, whoa, yo, bro, I'm up here. I'm hungry. All right, take this. That's what he's taking. Thanks. I'm mean, eat it. All right. Wow, you ate it really fast. My energy has returned to me. It's like an energy bar, but not. Let me fall down. So he needed all of that food just to roll like two centimeters in front of him. Nice, man. Nice. I wonder who it might be. Uh, there are many alive. Uh, too radical, dude. Take this. We got ourselves the Don Garros mask. It's it's an interesting looking mask. But I guess that does it for this. I want to say we have completed. Yes, we have. The, the Bomber's Man stamp of approval. Nice. Peace out, bro. Or is it just gonna roll away like that? But yeah, <laughs> now with all of that said and done, we're gonna start making our way to Snowhead. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, and read this. So yeah, this way is the Snowhead. Beware of slippery. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I will beware of slippery. Blah 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 blah. Um, I was thinking about buying the bomb bag upgrade, but I guess I will do that later. I won't have to worry about that now. Let's just go ahead and start rolling really quickly. As you can tell, you really need to, you know, get ready to get in hyper gear as you roll through this area and just break everything. And once you do so, you'll make it to Snowhead. So this is where Darmani died. Now, here is the really sad part. We're gonna figure out how Darmani actually died, but first off, let me go ahead and check this out, because I do want to teleport here later. All right, we do not want to save our progress. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, check this out. What's that? There's a blizzard in the middle, or there's something in the middle of the blizzard. Can you see it? We can't actually see it like this, but if we put on Lens of Truth, we can. And yes, this is the strong wind that pushed Darmani into the valley, and this is how he got killed. By a freaking Goron! How sad is that? So his own people killed him on accident because that Goron is so dumb and can't cover his mouth or move away or do something. So what we have to do to even progress because Darmani couldn't make it through here, how are we supposed to do so? Well, we go ahead and play Goron's Lullaby and it affects any and every Goron. Doesn't matter how big they are, you know, size means nothing. This tune here is gonna put this bad boy to sleep. So, you watch him as he slowly starts to fall asleep. Yeah, look at that. And, all right, you, you can fall asleep now. Like the music that plays right after. Oh my God, he's asleep! <laughs> I don't know why it does that like music and then something tragic just happened. He didn't die, don't worry. Even if he did, who cares? He killed Darmani. I don't even give a crap about him. Alright, now we died. So the same fate as Darmani, pretty much, right? <laughs> Luckily, we're the hero and we just respawn back on things. Alright, so guys, it's time to take on the... Okay, you know what? Let's... Let me hold my 3DS more properly, because that is a little embarrassing how I am just falling like that. You know, I'm not really this bad at driving. I got my license from, you know, the... GMV Goron Motor Vehicle. Yeah. Smart. Alright, well, anyways, <laughs> we're heading to the next temple within the game, which is right over here, and I fell again. I am doing great. Either way, I want to rewind time before I enter the temple because after we complete the temple, there's a series of events we need to do, and we need all the time we can actually get to do so. So I'm going to end off the episode right here and we're gonna enter this in the next episode but I'm gonna rewind time and make my way all the way back here I'll see you all in the next episode thank you all so much for watching and in the next episode we're gonna be taking on Snowhead Temple see you all then.